Hello everyone, so here's my November Ipsy bag. I just got it today and I haven't opened the bag yet. So here's the first impression. When you open it, this is what you get. The card says rock starlet, I guess as in rock star. And on the back, there's no information about the makeup, just telling you that you can watch tutorials online and to remind you to do the reviews after you've tried the products. The bag, I love it. I'm a little obsessed with it, not gonna lie. It's pretty thick. You can tell that there's like a foam inside, so it's more than one layer. They came in gold or silver, and I got the gold, which makes me happy. I think it would have been sour if it was silver. I love the constellations. Um, it's makeup related, obviously. You've got your brushes and palettes and stuff. And the zipper, I tested the zipper because I don't remember which month, but one of my month's zippers was not so great, so this one was pretty sturdy. The first one's the Pore Professional from Benefit Cosmetics. This is a face primer, and it's supposed to minimize your pores, and the silicone feel of it is, it glides on the skin really nicely. This is the sample size, this is the smallest one. Um, I have the travel size that's a little bit bigger, it's actually more than twice the size. This is one fluid ounce and the one I have is uh, 0.25 fluid ounces. And I, I like this one, I only touch it up on the T-zone because there's no point in wasting it all over your face. The next is the Verb Ghost Oil, I've never heard of this brand but they say that you add it little dots on your dry hair and it's supposed to make it shiny and sleek and reduce frizz with soy protein and bamboo and all that kind of stuff next one is the mad lash black mascara from the balm and i'm excited for this i've never tried a mascara from the balm the tip was kind of weird when i opened it i was like holy cow the one's a little heavy, and it's the biggest one I've ever seen. I didn't wipe off the excess on the front, but I noticed later that the tip of the brush, the actual end of the brush, has bristles, so I guess it's good to get in the inner corners or like tiny lashes, and I did like that, so I'm going to be trying that. Next one, another one I've never heard of, this is from... LAQA or La Croix, I have no idea. It's the Be Lighter in Preacher's Daughter and it's supposed to be like a shimmery pink highlighter. They say that you swipe once and it's pretty sheer, swipe twice and it's like really thick. It's supposed to go over on top of your blush or the top of your cheekbones and Ipsy even says that you can put it as like an eyelid base, I guess, before your eyeshadow or you know inner corner highlight because why not I like the color it's really pretty I will try using it on my blush but I felt the packaging was a little cheap and it was creamy but it kind of felt like a kids lip gloss I don't know the packaging part didn't make me happy the formula didn't make me happy and the last thing I got was from scone cosmetics it's the brow wand eyebrow pencil and first off, I was falling in love with the hollow packaging. Like, what a way to grab my attention. I really liked it. So then a quick pause here because I had to open it and that took me forever. Thumbs up if you hate opening those tiny plastic things. Anyways, I heard scone means beauty in Africans. So look at me doing my research. I liked that it was a black owned company. Um, it's a triangle at the tip, so I like that. You know, you got your fine strokes and, the, and, you know, the small sections if you use just the tip. Or you can fill in your sparse areas with the whole end of the stick. And I like these kinds of pencils more. I haven't tried one, but I, I imagine in my head this would be much better. Because I had tried the waxy crayons before like from NYX and I don't know other drugstore brands and it was just way too much so I like that this is more forgiving and you know retractable like enough said it's the best and I got the shade chocolate if it decides to focus yeah there the shade chocolate 
and I forgot to try the Porefessional. Mine was translucent. Mine is translucent, and this one kind of has like a skin tone, but you can see first swipe, that's it. It's gone. It fades out to nothing, but you know, obviously it has that silicone gel feel, so you know that it's on your skin. You really don't need a lot. And yeah, here's the last look at the bag. The inside's gold. I really like it. Now you can see how thick it is. There is a space between my fingers. And I really like it. I'm about to go on a trip and I'm going to take this bag with me. And I'm also going to take a lot, all of these products. Might as well try them out when you're on vacation and you have the chance. I really like it. I'm happy this month. So thank you. I hope you have a wonderful day. And don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out. Bye.